Hey guys, so I'm in Orange County right now in Irvine. My cousin is planning to come visit me around and sometime in the afternoon. She has to first go to a doctor's appointment. So right now, I just want to take advantage while I'm here. I want to go grab some coffee. I tried this really good coffee spot before and it was the coffee was so good. So I want to go back and try something else and then after that I want to eat some Vietnamese food and then after that stop by South Coast Plaza and probably buy some like basic basic items because I don't have any more undershirts and I want some winter clothes because I was trying to figure out what to wear and this is all I have jeans and a sweater and everything else was like summer stuff so I'm just gonna go look for that I was I want to hit up Aritzia and I want to hit up free people because those are some things that I there's some things there that I've been eyeing so hopefully I'm able to get stuff last time I was there I saw some really nice pants but then when I checked online it's all sold out so hopefully I have better luck this time okay bye oh yeah and then plan for when my cousin does get here I want to take her to Boba for sure. I might take her to Irvine Spectrum or maybe just go back to South Coast Plaza and see where it goes from there and then see what she wants to eat because we do have a lot of good Asian food here and I know she likes Asian food so we'll see. So I forgot the name of the coffee shop. Oh my hair! Oh my god it's so frizzy. I, I was trying to just leave my hair curly for the longest time, but then my, I felt like my life got a little chaotic, and when my life is chaotic, my hair needs to be put together, and I straighten my hair. Whenever I get stressed, I straighten my hair. So, yeah, but I can tell, it, you can tell that it, how damaged it is when um, I straighten it sometimes, because it gets pretty, pretty everywhere and frizzy, but... Anyways, I digress. The coffee spot that I was talking about was, is called Keen's Coffee. It's really good, especially for those people who are true coffee lovers because I feel like majority of the time, some coffee places, they just kind of make coffee taste like sugar. But this place, um, they kind of emphasize the coffee more with like hints of flavor. And their coffee is really good. I brought... I bought coffee beans for my brother the first time and I told him like, oh, I'm going to a coffee shop that's supposedly really popular because it has like a thousand reviews on Yelp, like four and a half stars. And then I got him it and then he's like, oh yeah, the coffee beans that you got me were really good. So even my brother who is a coffee lover, like connoisseur, like he really liked it. And what I got... I got, I ended up getting one of their specialties, I've never tried it before, it's called the Grasshopper. It's supposed to be coffee mixed with mint and it's really good. Last time I got, I think a vanilla latte, an iced vanilla latte. It was kind of a little bit too bitter for me, but this one's like my sweetness level. And then I also bought coffee because I plan to go back to the San Bernardino area and then just in case I get really tired, I can have some backup coffee. Hopefully, if it's still, if I didn't drink it all. But right now, I'm gonna go to get breakfast. I say breakfast, but it's already, what time is it? 12.24. Okay, I'm gonna get lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna get lunch. And then after that, I'm gonna head to the mall. I'm super excited.
guys, I'm done eating. Didn't that look so good? It was delicious. I'm so full. Ugh. I'm just gonna leave the name of the restaurant here because I can't pronounce it. <clears throat> and I like it because like, it looks like a hole in the wall, wall place. And then the food is good, the service is good. And oh, it's like, I like going there. This is my second time going already because I, I liked it so much the first time. Okay, I gotta go. I'm here at South Coast Plaza. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna buy yet. People are looking at me so weird. Okay, I'm not used to vlogging, so I don't know how much I can get when I'm inside because I get an uncomfortable recording, especially with a camera. I mean, if it was my iPhone, I wouldn't mind that much, but this camera is too big. If that makes, you know, like it's too big and it's a little noticeable when it's your phone, it's a little bit more discreet. But yeah, all I want to do is buy some clothes, look around, see what's inside. If I can vlog, I will. <sighs> it's already 2 though, and then my cousin is leaving San Bernardino at 3. She might not get here until 5, so I have a little bit of time to shop. Eek! I've been wanting to come here for a long time now. Okay, bye! So I ended up going to Burberry. I was trying on their trench coats. Um, so here I'm trying on the Chelsea in a size 4. It's supposed to be a slimmer version of their original trench coach the essay was telling me. And then here is the Kensington in a size 2. I'm a 5'2 for reference, so I thought it fit me pretty nicely. Sorry with all the shakiness. I know. See, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> so I tried to record myself real quick. Um, this is me trying the Kensington with a scarf on, but I really just liked it plain like this and open. It suits my lifestyle. I feel like I can move freely with it. And then over here, I'm just trying on other sweaters that I thought were really cute. I really like them a lot. I would get them if it was a lot colder here in my area, but it's not. So I decided not to get anything yet until it gets a little colder. But what I did add, end up getting is that white underneath shirt. I was thinking about getting the white t-shirt, but it was just a little too expensive for me. So when my cousin ended up coming, we just ended up getting ramen and boba after. She worked the night before, so she was pretty tired. I was surprised she even came since she was working, but after that, we just hung out at my place, but it was still super fun. Hi guys, so I'm at the same coffee shop because you know I like it. I straightened my hair. Um, dude, I didn't know my hair was this long. I, th I really like the blonde. I think I'm going to go higher with it. But yeah, I think I'm trying to make my hair healthier and, oh sorry, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get my hair healthier so I haven't been straightening it in like three months now and I can really see a difference. I only have a couple more days here in Irvine so I just want to make the best of it. I just want to go around a couple more times to new spots, try out new foods, and but I don't know. I'm also on a budget so... I don't know what I'll do with that. I think I have until Monday to move out. Today's Thursday. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I want to have fun these last couple days. But yeah, alright. Uh, I'll bring you guys along with me. So I ended up getting a iced vanilla latte and a churro croissant. I got it warmed up, but it was a little bit too crunchy for me. I thought it was decent. I don't think I'd order it again though. Guys, right, so I'm just eating in my car. Um, I had to bring my coffee and my little croissant to my car because I was expecting a phone call. Anyways, um, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my time here in my Airbnb. I don't want it wasted, but I also want to spend time with my new cats and then if I do get the cat that I ordered um, basically I ordered a ragdoll cat I ordered it since last year and um, I specifically wanted like a certain type of pattern to the cat and then um, a certain gender so while I was in Irvine I got a call from the breeder uh, she lives in Anaheim and she told me that I can visit the cattery to pick my kitten So I was super excited. That's one of the moms. She has such beautiful eyes I ended up picking this kitten right here on my lap 
he's a male bicolored with white ears i think i thought it was so cute he ended up sleeping on my lap so that's why i chose him uh, all the cats were so cute i wanted to pick them all they're just so adorable oh my god but originally i wanted a female ragdoll blue bicolored but they didn't have any then while I was out in Orange County, it was my friend's birthday, so we ended up celebrating her birthday in LA in a restaurant called Toco Madera, and there was some really cool fire dancers. Um, I also explored Orange County a little bit more, and I went to this bakery. It had a lot of fresh pastries to pick from. I actually ended up getting two. I got one that was like a what pistachio croissant and the other one was an almond croissant and they were both good i would totally recommend i would go again and i also got a coffee then on a separate day i went to an asian plaza where there was a um japanese grocery store i forget the name of what it was called but then mitsua it was called mitsua and then um they had a moto donuts there i ended up getting an ube flavored donut which was really good i enjoyed it they make they make it like right when you order it or they fry it when you order it so it's really warm and the ube flavoring is just melting but it was really good I would have got another one if I wasn't trying to be healthy. They really have other good flavors too. I think they have cinnamon, they have a matcha flavor. Uh, they usually alternate flavors every now and then. And of course I went back to Keen's Coffee. It's so good. I just want to try everything off their menu because everything I try is pretty much great. No complaints. And then when I went to South Coast Plaza, one of the days I was out there, I did go to a shrimp ramen restaurant. It was really good. Um, it was in the lowest floor of the mall. And I would go here again also. There's so much good food there in Orange County. I would totally go back. And last but not least, there's my Hello. new cat. His name Hello. is Nellie.